All right, so we are back talking about winter weather now and the cold that is coming our way. Uh, HBO just announced the Game of Thrones is coming back in April. Well, ahead of that, winter is coming to the United States. It's been uh, kind of delayed. We've had some bursts of cold, and it's been cold in other parts of the United States. But here in the Carolinas, uh, we've had just a, what I think most people would call a, an okay winter so far. But the winter that everyone hates may be coming as we go into the later portion, later portion of uh, January as... There's always so much hype over the polar vortex and the polar vortex splitting and all that cold air coming our way. Basically, we are looking at a colder than normal end of January and the beginning of February. What's happening is we are seeing a little portion of that quote unquote polar vortex splitting off. And as a result, we're seeing deeper troughs come down into our area and some deeper cold air. And the first one, guys, comes this weekend, we could be talking about a huge temperature drop as we go Sunday into Monday across the region, maybe even a little bit of some rain changing over to snow and a flash freeze potential too, Scotty, in the mountains. I knew I, I couldn't go a show without unmuting myself. Yeah, that's right, Ricky. Uh, definitely the, the possibility. I mean, some of the models are, I don't want to say crazy because I think it's possible, but they're showing a 20, 30, possibly 40 degree drop within, within the same day. So uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. That's what we were talking about with the uh, Northwest flu of, of what could be happening. And Ricky, and, that, that cold shot comes in Monday, Tuesday, it kind of warms up, but then I think the sustaining cold comes uh, over the, uh, the next weekend. Right. Which is the interesting part for me, for the mountains, well, we haven't had a whole lot of clipper systems so far this year. And so as this cold air starts coming in more, it'll be interesting to see if we get into more, clipper season and more clipper flow with these quick moving uh, snow systems that can sometimes put down an inch or three in some of the higher terrain of North Carolina. Uh, we've got some of the model data playing out now and it looks like a colorful jamboree of purples and blues and everything all in one spell here. But that's gonna be the change we see over the next seven days is especially Saturday. Saturday's gonna be nice and warm uh, parts of the state, a little cooler in the Western part of the state. But as we go into Sunday, that huge temperature drop and wind chill values too are going to be crazy, especially in the higher terrain in North Carolina. We could be talking about wind chill values that are down in the single digits or below zero. I was looking at some data last night. Some of our European data was showing a negative 15 for Boone at one time, and that's for Monday morning. And then uh, as we go into later January next week, perhaps another blast of cold comes this way. Yeah, and that that blast looks like it could sustain itself. Um, I don't, we're not really allowed to share some some of the European data, but I, I was looking at it just before the show. And, uh, we see a couple of lobes of, of cold air move through, but overall in the southeast, um, below the Mason-Dixon line per se, uh, it looks to, to remain pretty chilly throughout the month of February. Um, Evan, I know earlier today you was able to kind of post some graphics of some temperatures that was going to be moving into the mountains. and. Um, I believe I, I saw there was a couple of uh, areas that could get down to the single digits Monday. That's definitely possible. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to screen share on here, but I think I need to practice that off camera one day. Uh, it's definitely possible that in the high elevations, especially above 5,000, 6,000 feet, um, wind chill values could drop below minus 15. Uh, it's just going to be it's going to be really really cold. Definitely the coldest era of the season. Wouldn't be surprised if Mount Mitchell or Grandfather Mountain, which both of which are up around uh, 6,000 feet, uh, Mitchell's closer to 7,000, they could both see temperatures close to zero, flirting with negatives. Um, and the wind's just going to be the kicker, even in the valleys uh, when temperatures will be in the single digits to low teens. Uh, NWS is forecasting wind chill values in Asheville of one degree on Monday morning. And that's going to come as a, that's going to be a shock for a lot of people as well as been mild recently temperate for the season uh, even charlotte will be down to 11 uh, degree wind chill monday morning winston-salem 5 raleigh 10 wilmington 14 uh, so all across the state that cold is going to be uh, kind of spreading throughout the, the whole area 